Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakakwadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father, who you ignorantly call God. His name is Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the world that are prophesying and laboring, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say shalom. Okay, um, this economy that we're currently living in, this American infrastructure might be over. It actually it, it, it is over, all right? It's coming to a abrupt end, all right? And and this is said, this is being said by uh, Esau, all right? This is Esau basically telling on themselves, all right? What the scripture said that they would do, okay? This is the um, the Fed chairman, uh, Jerome Powell, that's basically saying this economy, as we know it, may be over where in Esau's mind, they feel that they're transitioning to this they're, they're, what they're what they're what they're actually doing all right but it's going to be a, a snare and a trap for themselves okay because while they're thinking that they're going to fulfill this new world order where they push everything to cashless and everything from cashless to the chip all right the heavenly father has a, a new world order agenda that he's bringing forth too where this devil esau all right that's in power right now is going to be brought low okay through these other nations that are going to come up against esau through the prophets that are prophesying uh, this truth out there and proclaiming uh, Esau's end. All these things are going to come to pass, all right? But Esau, in their mind, they think that they're going to, their, their kingdom is going to uh, last forever, all right? Actually, let me get a few scriptures before I start because um, the scriptures basically uh, uh, um, got Esau mapped out and, and their plans, all right? This is uh, Psalms chapter 68 and, excuse me, it's not 68, uh, I want it 64. 64 and 8. This is Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And that's what Esau's clearly doing. All right. That's what they're clearly doing in, in this. Or I'm, I'm going to read a little bit of the article, but some of the, the article basically re reiterates what this guy is saying right here about the economy as we know it uh, is going to come to an end where there's going to be job loss. There's going to be uh, unemployment is going to rise. It's going to. It's already unemployment is already high as it is. All right, but uh, if people are going to be unemployed and everything is going to be transitioning to um, automation, uh, uh, robots, or they're going to outsource a lot of these um, these these positions over here in, in the states, or these a lot of these companies are going to close down. Over the past two years, it's been an economic, um, not an economic, uh, uh, a retail apocalypse where. A lot of these stores, a lot of these stores that's been open for a hundred years, you know, uh, 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 half a half a century, okay, they're going out of business or they're downsizing, okay. That's the part of the economy um, coming to an end, all right. This economy, this wicked infrastructure that Esau has has got through rape, robbery, and murder, all right. So I'm gonna play this small clip right here, and this Edomite is basically just gonna tell you really what it is, all right. And this this. This article was maybe with last week, and this this might have went over a lot of people's heads. But Esau's clearly saying that the economy, as we knew it, might be over, and it, it is over. All right, there ain't no might about it. All right, let me play this. Start it over. A lot of pre-existing that um, what this crisis is in the process of doing is it is accelerating a lot of pre-existing. Uh, technological change. So technological change raises productivity generally, and over long periods of time, those gains tend to be broadly shared. But in the short term, that may or may not be the case. And I, I along with many others, will leave social media out of it, by the way, in terms of adding to <clears throat> productivity. I would, I'm not sure I would say that for social media. But <clears throat> for other kinds of technology, I would say it. And um, in this particular uh, situation, I, I would worry that the changes, we're, we're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And Te I worry that that is going to make it. Technology meaning cashless, all right? Automation, robots, like I was saying, okay? Uh, uh, everything is going to be, uh, um, um, you know, paperless. They're not going to have any money. They're not going to have any coins. 
everything is going to be done digitally. That's what the economy that they're speaking of. That's the economy that, 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 that this new world order is going to bring forth. Okay. But also they don't, he's not telling you um, that this, this U S dollar, which is being devalued daily. Okay. is going to crash. Eventually it's going to crash. They going to, they may have some kind of crypto dollar. All right. They already have some kind of a uh, cryptocurrency that, um, it's like, you know, that, that's similar to the U S dollar. Um, then they have the digital dollar, which they, which they, um, pushed out, not, not necessarily pushed out there, but they, they, uh, made mention of it when they were first bringing forth this, uh, the first stimulus checks back in, um, May or April, whenever it was. All right. I'm play a little bit more. Even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. It's going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers who, as Andrew just mentioned, you know, the, it's a relatively low paid public facing workers in the uh, service sector who are bearing the brunt. This is largely minorities and women or, or skewed toward minorities and minorities women. Minorities and women, and e Israelites. Min so that's what they speak of when they say minorities. Those people are going to struggle to get back to work in their old jobs or in, in many cases, in new jobs. So these people are going to struggle to get back in their old jobs, in many cases, new jobs. That means there's not going to be any employment here in America. All right, there should be no work. It's not going to be no work in Egypt. All right, and mainly, first and foremost, for you Israelites. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. This, 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 uh, 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 this plague of economic, this economic crisis is going to hit you Israelites the hardest. All right, because we don't have any money. We don't have thousands upon thousands of dollars in savings and the four hundred one ks that are uh, hundreds of thousand dollars in a four hundred one k. Or we don't got that. So who's going to get hit the hardest? Israelites, because we. Those jobs that are being taken away, that are being uh, made autom uh, um, through automation or robots or, uh, or or being outsourced to other countries, they're taking those jobs first and foremost away from from Jake, okay, from from Israelites. All right, I saw I did a um, lesson a while ago where um, in China they had a robots that were running the whole restaurant. All right, they have robots now. Um, I believe in, I want to say in McDonald's, they have a touchscreen where you could just order from the touchscreen. Eventually, they're going to only have two people working in fast food. Some, someone to, uh, 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 um, you know, fill the, uh, uh, you know, um, refill the, uh, I don't know, like to, to, to work on the robots, basically. That's what, that's what the positions are going to have. All right. For someone to, you know, make sure the robots don't, uh, miss, uh, uh malfunction. Okay. And, and everything else is going to be run by robots eventually. All right, that's what this that's what this whole uh techno this tech this, this technology is is moving um moving to. All right, that's what this this country is moving to through this technology. All right, I'm play a little bit more. I mean, I think yeah. you'll see more telework. You'll see probably the acceleration of of automation. Um, all of that was in the process of happening, but you're going to see much more of it. And I, I guess that for me, the main takeaway from all of this is that um, even after the unemployment rate goes down and the economy is you know, and there's a vaccine, there's going to be a probably a, a substantial group of workers who are going to need support as they find their way in the post-pandemic economy because it's going to be different in some fundamental ways. Clearly, it's going to be different. And everything... So I can play this. Everything leads... We ask... So I can, everything leads to the chip, okay? This whole pandemic, this whole... This vaccine, everything is going to lead to Esau's end game, which is the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. All right, with, with the crash in this economy, the crash of the dollar, all right, everything moving to cashless, everything moving to automotive, more automation, tech, all this tech, new technology, all these smart cities, is everything leads to the chip at the end of the day. Okay, but the economy is through. This economy is, is done with. Okay, um, let, me, let me read a little bit of this and I'm going to pull some scriptures. It reads the uh, the COVID pandemic brought the economy to a screeching halt, and while it while it has started its long road to recover, the economy as we know it oh this is the same thing this guy was saying. All right, um, let me see. Yeah, it says more work needs to be done. Powell has a, has long said that the economy might need more stimulus both from government and the central banks to get through this cr the crisis he again echoed the sentiment on thursday my sense is that we need to come to we need to be more need to do more and that congress will help congress will need to do more Salakia. 
He said, while the prospect the prospect of a vaccine is good news, many questions remain, including the resurgence of the virus around the world. The main risk we see today is further spread of the disease here in the United States. He said several states have restarted their pandemic restrictions to curb the spread. U.S. stocks weaken following Powell's sobering comments. The market has lately been rallying up back, rallying on vaccine hopes. And, and, and the stock market is just a, a, a big Ponzi scheme, pretty much. All right. Where, 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 you know, you know, they, they just playing with money, just playing with numbers. All right. And you people that, that buy into it, you know, you, you, at the end of the day, when the stock market crashed, like it did in, uh, uh um, the, the great depression in what, uh, 1929 or everyone's going to lose all their money. Okay. And the same thing they're going to, they're going to crash this whole economy. Okay. And, and that's what you really, that's what you don't realize. You Jake's out there, you Israelites that continue to believe in America, you 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 want to invest in America, you want to uh, 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 buy property here and and, and, and and you know try to live your best life. It's, this place is going to, this place is going down. It's literally sinking, it's a sinking ship right now, okay? And if you don't hop off that sinking ship, you're going to go down, go down with it, all right? The though hand joined in hand, like the scripture says, the wicked shall not go um, unpunished. All right, so you want to dwell in this place and, and, and live comfortably in America, you're gonna go down with this place. All right, this Edomite, and he don't even and he don't even know what the hell he just said. He he said something that's spiritual. The economy as we knew it might be over. Okay, he he's not thinking like a prophet. He's thinking of more of okay, it's gonna be over. It's gonna be. It's not gonna like. We, it's not gonna be like we once um what like it once was before. But it's gonna transition to this. No. All right, men of the Lord, we're thinking of a transition from a wicked rulership to a righteous rulership. Okay, from Esau to Jacob. All right, that that's how we're thinking. But you know, these Edomites, they a hey, they they like like that scripture said uh, said I read. They let their tongue follow themselves. All right, let me grab this real quick in Ecclesiasticus, um, chapter uh, ten and verse eight. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another, and that's part of that transition, this economy falling, this economy uh, uh, crumbling, okay? Excuse me. Um, let me grab this uh, real quick. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter 6 and verse 17, and it reads, Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. All right. And that and that's that's a cut at you Israelites. You Israelites trust in uncertain riches. You think that you got a million dollars in the bank or you got, you know, what Jake like to say, got racks and you know, you got bands. You think that you're doing it. You think that you you all right. Those are uncertain riches. All right. The value of the dollar is is is, is decreasing daily. Okay, the only reason the value the dollar is still worth anything because it was the only currency that you can buy uh buy oil in. All right, but you see other countries, mainly China and Russia, that are transitioning from using the dollar and use the uh what is it called the yuan, which China uses to purchase oil, and it's backed by gold. Okay, let me get this. Um, this is Ecclesiastes twelve. And I'm going to start at verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. All right? It, it, and, and that's a, um, and they're talking about there's not going to be any work in the city. It says the grinders cease. Grinders represents the workers. All right? And those that look out of the windows be darkened. They're looking out of the windows, and it's darkened because there's no future. They're looking for something in the future to uh, uh, um, looking for um, answers in the future. Like there's going to be a, a bright future uh, ahead after this, after we get past this COVID pandemic, after we get a, a vaccination. All right. No, it's not going to be. It's not going to. It's not looking good. All right. And, and, it's, it's, and it's never going to look good again, pretty much. All right. And the doors shall be shut in the streets. That means the stores, the shops. OK, uh, a lot of these stores are shutting down. A lot of these small businesses after this next shutdown, the small businesses are going to be through. All right. It's the small business can't take another shutdown. All right. They're already hanging on a limb as it is. All right. They shut. The sh they have to shut their doors. All right. For, because of a, uh, 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 um, uh, um, what is it? A, uh, a, a cloak. Uh, what is it called? It? Man, I'm tripping. Um, if they have to have another lockdown, pretty much. All right. Um, 
they won't have to uh they, 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 these these small businesses won't last all right when the sounding when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low all right so the grinding is low because the grinding represents work being done the grinding is going to be low there's not going to be any work here in America all right it's going to be millions upon millions of people out of work with no with no not a chance to return back to their jobs all right and Esau manipulates the um the unemployment un unemployment numbers because when you're unemployed as long as you you're when you when you receive unemployment benefits you're considered in that percentage but once you stop receiving the benefits whether you have a job or not you're not you're not in that uh that percentile of unemployed all right so you could you you still don't have a job but you and you you still don't have a job but you're not receiving any unemployment benefits they don't consider you um unemployed anymore you're just you know you're you're still you don't have a job but um you you still don't have a job but you're not considered unemployed in Esau's numbers what they show on the news pretty much all right um let me grab this Isaiah 19 and verse 15 neither shall there be actually let me see mm. Yeah, I'll read 14. The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and have caused Egypt to err in every work therefore, thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his own vomit. And, and that's what the Heavenly Father is doing right now. And Egypt is synonymous. That's And this Egypt is talking about America. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Okay. You have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof and as a drunken man that staggereth in his vomit. All right, so Egypt, I mean Egypt, America's going to err in everything they try to do to try to build this economy back up, to try to bring, resuscitate the, this economy, resuscitate America uh, as a whole. It's going to, they're, it's everything, they, everything they put their hand to is going to fail. All right, neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail branch or rust may do. It's not going to be any work here for anyone. All right, it's going to be very few people with jobs. All right. And a lot of the jobs are going to be jobs that, you know, um, that people who have been on jobs for, 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 you know, 10, 10, 20 plus years. All right. Where they can't afford to retire. All right. And some of those jobs are going to be eliminated. All right. It's going to be a lot of people working from home. All right. That, that's going to be, that's going to be a common thing. All right. Children going to be, uh, uh, doing class from the computer. All right. Those that's, that's reality. Okay. Um, let me grab this second Corinthians chapter six in verse twenty two. Uh second not second Corinthians, excuse me. Second Ezra's chapter six and verse twenty two. This is uh second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be empty. That's going into a lot of these stores closing. All right, that's part of this economy. This, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, uh, convenience stores and, and and places of commerce. Um, that 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 builds the economy. That 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 helps the economy. People are spending money. That builds the economy. But when people don't have the money to spend and these businesses don't have the uh, financial means to keep going, they 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 got to shut down. All right, they're gonna lose money. It's like a lot of these places are opening up. And for them opening up or them operating their regular business, um, or op operating their, their you know their regular regular business, it, it, it's they're losing money because it costs money to pay the employees to turn on the lights and and, and and it costs money for these businesses to run and they're losing money. All right. Let me get a few more scripts. Actually, this is Zephaniah. Chapter uh, one and verse eight, uh, eleven. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down; all that bear silver are cut off. And, and Maktesh is, was like a place of commerce in the ancient world. It says all the merchant people are cut down, meaning all those people that sold things there, uh, 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 bartered, or um, you know had, had goods to sell. They all they're all cut down because. They have no one to sell the goods to. They, they no one has any money. Everyone's, uh, uh, um, you know, pretty much broke. Okay, the the economy, um, you know, uh, 
same thing today. The economy is going to be in in, in the um, it's going to be in the sh pretty much to shit pretty much. Okay, and, and and when it when it gets that when it gets bad, Esau is going to come with uh, their solution, which is the mark of the beast, which is the chip. All right, they're going to reset this economy and they're going to turn everything from um, like I said, paper money to digital. All right, and and, and that's what's going to be their there's going that's going to be their solution to this economic crisis. All right, East, there's the Esau is always going to come with a solution, but it's always a catch to it. All right, it's always a catch to everything that Esau does. The Iron Scripture says, "Never trust thy enemy." All right. Um, I'll give one more script. Um, Revelations 13 and uh, I'm sorry, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that image of the beast is this new world order agenda. All right, one world government, one world religion. All right, you can't think for yourself. You can't have opinion about anything. Uh, homosexuality goals, transgenderism goals, all that goals, all the wickedness of Esau's uh, 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 society, new world order. Um, agenda where we put it, which makes up that image all right and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor to receive rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that mark is a physical mark which is going to come in the form of an RFID chip all right which will be placed in either hand or anywhere in your body you take that mark you you're done the heavenly father is going to preserve your ass for uh, for a cold ass judgment all right uh, thermonuclear fire from when those missiles hit uh, and destroy America or concentrated fire from a chariot, ultimately. All right, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you won't be able to do anything in the society, buy or sell. All right, and that's what this economy is all about, buying and selling. All right, people are buying things to, uh, 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 um, buying things or um, or uh, selling things pretty much. All right, that, that's what stimulates the economy. All right. If no one's doing that, the economy is is going to be in, in the dumps, which is is going to happen right now because at the end of the day, people aren't going to have the money to to, to buy to buy these things. People are not going to have the money to buy the best basic necessities eventually. Okay. Let alone uh, uh um you know things that they want. All right. Like these niggas bugged out niggas going out here buying Christmas presents and and and, and buying. Man, I, I was in Costco today and Jake is in there buying all kind of shit for Thanksgiving. You know, they got out, man, Jake is bugged out. They don't understand the times that we're living in. All right, these is perilous times that we're coming into. This is Jacob's trouble. And, and our people are still engulfed in this folly. This economy is falling. This economy is is is, is not going to come back. America is, like the scriptures say, we would have healed We would have healed Babylon, but she's she not going to be healed. All right, America is not going to come back from this. Is it, This is a, the, the most I gave, the most I gave America a, a death blow. All right, and, uh, um, and it's, they're not going to return. All right, it's like as Scripture says in the Revelation that deadly, that deadly wound. This time, it's not going to be healed because Esau's this is Esau's last go. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh Kach, Yahweh The more honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. Shalom.